would like to welcome Pasquale Lizena. Uh, Pasquale is a researcher in the data science department uh, at URICOM in Sofia Antipolis in France. He has a PhD in computer science. He has worked on music representation and recommendation and uh, on several projects in digital humanities, including the Doremus project, uh, project on, on music metadata, which, will, which also involved the, the BNF. So Pasquale, uh, the floor is yours. You have about 15 minutes. We can see your screen, so that's okay. Yes, yeah, sorry, I was searching the, the button for uh, for the audio, for the microphone. So thank you very much. Thank you for your uh, introduction. So yes, so I'm going to present my, uh, part of my work. Uh, the title of this presentation is When did the, the goal and that's an hour meet? And we will speak about automatic face recognition in uh, historical videos. Uh, this project has been carried out uh, um, at Eurecom, uh, that is a university in the south of, uh, of France. Uh, that actually from next year will be a, one of the Grand Ecole of, uh, of France. Uh, and in the context of the Antract project that is founded by uh, INR. So the question we wanted to answer while doing this, uh, this work is simply, who is in this video? Uh, that is a very crucial question. It's quite in, uh, useful to, to know uh, who is present in the video, in which moment, etc. And there are two ways to find out. The first one is the one that has been uh, traditionally employed, that is uh, the use of manual annotation, that of course are extens expensive, uh, require a lot of people working on that and not scalable when there are very large amounts of, uh, of video resources, also long videos, this is not really uh, feasible. The other uh, way to, to do this is using automatic face recognition, uh, which is of course much uh, efficient, uh, and uh, time-wise uh, saving uh, time, but of course it poses uh, other challenges and other complexities. One of these, uh, uh, that is the one uh, we focus more, is how to obtain uh, the training images. The, so I know that I want to, uh, I know who I want to, um, to find the video. How can I teach the, the machine to say, okay, please search Eisenhower inside the, all the videos? Um, the answer that uh, we tried uh, to, to give and for which this work has uh, started is uh, just Google it. Uh, so we know that uh, uh, in nowadays uh, um, uh, taping uh, ACN hour in any web browser, uh, we have access to a lot of information about him, but of course also at a lot of pictures that uh, portrays him. Um, so why don't we rely on these pictures? Uh, this is uh, following uh, what is already uh, investigated in other domains, other than uh, face recognition, computational linguistic or recommender system, the information coming from the web is already, well, uh, uh, is a resource that is uh, uh, po quite popular to exploit. So let's do this also for face recognition. So we uh, realized the, the face track pi pipeline that uh, from images from the web will lead to uh, annotation of the faces in video. So what uh, this algorithm to do is, uh, of course, browsing the web and downloading images. Then there is a tuning that is uh, done by human expert with the, the help of the machine. We will explain this in detail uh, in, a, in a minute. Then uh, we will process uh, the video frame by frame, uh, applying some of uh, well-known state-of-art uh, technologies. And we have in output uh, the annotation. So we uh, a name that is the, the name of the person that we have identified, in which frames, uh, in which uh, space inside those frames, and with which confidence. So let's go to see in details uh, the approach. So, First of all, uh, we have a training phase and then a phase in which we try to predict uh, the, the right uh, phases in, uh, in the video. Speaking about the training phase, we start, as I said, uh, 
from images from the web. We download them using a simple crawler that scrape uh, Google image and uh, download this, uh, uh, this face, uh, realizing a data set of tiny image. These images, of course, uh, uh, may or may not contain images. We know that there, are, there is a lot of noise in the web. Uh, and uh, for this reason, we have already a first phase detection and alignment algorithm that is uh, MTCNN, that is quite standard and quite uh, uh, well performant. So this algorithm uh, find the face and uh, uh, extract them. So yeah, exactly. Uh, from this face, uh, uh, we extract the face embeddings using FaceNet. So, so in this case, we use some pre-trained model. Uh, so we are sure to have an embedding, so numerical vector representation of these faces. Uh, then uh, this, the embeddings of Eisenhower in this case and those of other subjects are then uh, used to train uh, uh, a classifier, and in particular, we train a classifier for each uh, person that are then combined uh, in a one versus all, uh, in a set of one versus all classifiers. So this is all for the training phase. Uh, af so after we realize this training, we go to analyze frame by frame. Of course, uh, frame by frame is quite expensive. So what we usually do is to uh, process one frame per second or two frames per second. So this is not just to, to speed up and to avoid to uh, use and have some useless processing of uh, every single frame. Um, on each frame, we again apply the MTCNN uh, algorithm, so detecting the different faces. And uh, again, we, uh, we extract the embeddings with FaceNet. What we do now, we use this the extracted uh, embedding against the classifier that we already trained in, uh, in the past. So the classifier here is able to, uh, to tell us if is one of the, the person that we know or not, according to uh, that at a single frame. Uh, in the same moment, we use a, a, a tracking algorithm. Uh, in particular, we use sort. That is another one coming from the state of art, uh, which is able to assign a, a track ID uh, from the face in the different frames. In the sense that uh, if uh, it's an hour it is, uh, is present from frame eight to frame uh, eighty-five, uh, uh, for all that, fr that frame, uh, a unique identifier will be assigned to that face. Uh, um, that can be on the same place on the screen, uh, can move, uh, etc. The the good thing is that we have uh, uh, we can follow uh, the evolution of this person throughout the uh, um, yes throughout the the video segments. Uh, putting together the two information, we can have uh, the, the the annotation that we have seen uh, before. We saw with the name and the number of the frame, uh, the track ID, and the confidence. Of course, uh, uh, we can then have uh, a second uh, uh, more fine tuning uh, um, uh, yeah, process that enable us given the different uh, uh, prediction of inside the same tracking, uh, I'll pass to understand if the, uh, the prediction was correct or not. Uh, for doing this, we look at all the prediction inside the same track. So if you see here, we have the, the tracks, uh, always 12 here. These are successive frames. Sometimes the machine uh, has uh, correctly det um, uh, detected as an hour. Some other times uh, it detected to show. Uh, what we do here is to put together a, a set of rules. For example, uh, the fact that the, the Eisenhower should be uh, the most uh, um, uh, popular prediction among those. Uh, and it is, but also uh, the weighted mode should be as an hour, so not counting each prediction as one, but uh, waiting according to the confidence score. And also in this case is true. Uh, we have a check that uh, the, the ratio and the weighted ratio should surpass certain thresholds that we defined empirically to say, okay, this is correct or this is not. 
uh, the result of this help us to understand uh, the decision and to export uh, uh, an average confidence that is uh, the, the, confi the average confidence uh, of the correct prediction, the prediction for in hour. Counter uh, um, example, in this case, we detected Churchill. Uh, in this case, uh, both the mode, the weighted mode and the ratio are correct, but uh, well, the weighted ratio is, uh, uh, is false in this case. Uh, so the decision is that to not take this uh, uh, prediction as uh, um, correct and so uh, mark this as unknown. We also take uh, all the unknown faces and uh, we um, uh, try to uh, understand if uh, we can do something with these uh, uh, unknown detected people. Uh, so what for doing this, uh, we, are, we have a clustering phase uh, in which we take only the homogeneous cluster. So all the clusters that are at a certain distance uh, from the centroids, so they are more uh, uh, likely to be exactly uh, detected correctly from the, the same person. Uh, and discard the cluster and state faces as a centroids. Um, okay, let's go to the evaluation. We're evaluating on two different data sets, one made of historical images from uh, INA, the INA of, um, of uh, France, and, and the other one coming from TV News, uh, coming from the MIMED process, uh, MIMED project, sorry. Uh, quite different data set, uh, one with the short detection, the other not, so with the segments that are quite longer. Um, uh, list of celebrities over to search uh, change also to change the, um, uh, the, the, the way it has been, uh, they have been selected, and in particular, change also the quality of the video. So color videos versus white and black and white, uh, white video, different, uh, um, so they are different also in uh, what the, the machine can see inside. And this is quite clear looking at the result. Uh, this is the results um, moving the confidence, confidence threshold, uh, but in general around 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 uh, uh, of, of the confidence that give us the best results. Uh, and we realized that if, if the precision is quite good, both for uh, the black and white video and the color video uh, at over 90 something percent, uh, then uh, we have a recall that is quite good also for the modern video, but it's dropping a lot uh, for the, uh, how to say, from the historical video. Uh, here are the numerical thing, the numerical results. You can see here the results. Uh, so 0 0.97, 0 0.98 as precision, the task is uh, very good. Uh, the recall is quite good for MIMAD, but quite bad for Antract. In particular, if you see uh, the lower result, oh, sorry, come from Crusoe and Molotov, incredibly. Uh, and uh, the answer that we gave is that uh, the, they have been less time on the screen and less uh, first, uh, um, uh, you know, the, yeah, less closely to the, uh, to the camera. This can be also a choice that have possibly historical consequences. Um, the machine makes some common errors that we uh, realized. Uh, first of all, when there are glasses or the occlusion, uh, the prediction can be wrong or more than wrong, uh, is not uh, finding the exact the people, the person. Um, and uh, when uh, the, the, yeah, in the, the scene, uh, there is just the side of face also uh, is complex for the machine. Uh, and without mentioning also uh, when uh, the, the face is quite small uh, on the bottom of the screen. Uh, and of course, uh, a lot of features is, uh, are missing here. Uh, for the clustering, for evaluating the clustering, we tried to extract some cluster from one video and then use the image, some frames of that video uh, with only the, the, the face of the, of the detected person um, taken, using them for uh, detecting the, uh, the person in uh, another video. And this is quite working good. So uh, also in this case, we found uh, that, um, yeah, the, the the algorithm works. So I skip this part because I think I'm running out of time. Uh, so uh, how to interact with FaceTech? Uh, after we expose some uh, 
different uh, uh, way to uh, interact with the application. Number one, a REST API that is available for, uh, for playing, uh, that is quite complex even is documented, uh, but uh, most uh, we have a, a web app that helps to play and to see how it work. Uh, in particular, there is the interface in which it's possible to switch, um, to, uh, switch on and switch off certain faces because as you can see, uh, Google uh, extract from uh, Charles de Gaulle some uh, painting or even uh, image of Macron that are clearly uh, not correct uh, to be uh, retrieved. And of course, it's possible also to see the, uh, the detection in, uh, in process. Okay, uh, all this work uh, is public, uh, is uh, also uh, open source on a Git uh, repository. So uh, I will invite you to uh, give a look at it. Um, and uh, I will be uh, happy to answer your question if any afterwards. Thank you for your uh, attention.